is Sarah Dawn. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Today I want to do something a little bit different. So basically if you follow the beauty community uh, as closely as I do, you've probably heard about this real technique sponge that you can buy at Walmart. Basically people were saying that it's uh, really similar to Beauty Blender, if not almost a dupe for Beauty Blender. People are really liking it. It's far more cost effective than a Beauty Blender. So people have been like making videos about this sponge and I wanted to try it for myself. But Beauty Blender got a little bit butt hurt with the beauty community. They sent out some tweets. I will put them up here on the screen for you because I can't really remember what they all said. But basically the beauty community was like, well, if you're going to charge almost $30 for one sponge that, you know, you can't use it forever or anything, and we're going to have a dupe sponge that's way cheaper, why wouldn't we buy the dupe for cheaper? It's like Beauty Blender's been out for years now. If you know me or you follow my channel, it's literally all I use to put my foundation on. I'm a huge Beauty Blender fan, but people are right. Like, these are really expensive, and I find myself buying them, like, every two months or so, sometimes even quicker than that if I'm putting on makeup a lot more. Even with washing them, you know, they still get kind of gross. Like, I've only had this one not even a month, and, it, and, I, and I wash it and everything with the Beauty Blender soap. And, it, and you know, they still get kind of dingy and gross. Of course they are. It's a sponge. I'm not faulting Beauty Blender for that at all. But to still charge almost $30 for one sponge is quite a lot. So today I actually wanted to put them to the test and try them both out. This is the first time I've ever used a Real Technique sponge. So Beauty Blenders where I'm from here in Canada at Sephora cost $26 plus tax per sponge. I bought this Real Techniques one in a pack of two at Walmart for $17 for two. I don't know if they were on sale or something because I tried to find them on a website to get a more accurate price for a single one. Um, and the prices were all different on the website, but my receipt says I paid 17 plus tax for this two pack. So if this really is a fantastic dupe for the Beauty Blender, you might see me switching to the Real Technique sponge because honestly, this is not very cost effective for me to keep buying these every two months. And I would rather switch to something like this where I get a two pack, but me being a big Beauty Blender fan, you know, I have high standards for beauty sponges at this point. find it hard to switch sponges. I have tried other sponges. I always end up going back to the Beauty Blender. So let's see if this one actually stands up to my standards. Before we get into using the beauty sponges, first I'm going to put on some Fursali uh, Unicorn Essence just to give my face some moisture. And yes, I am aware of this pimple. I've had it for like three days now. Won't go away. I don't know where she came from. She hit me like a meteor. We're friends now. Now I'm just gonna go in with Touch and Soul's No Problem Primer, just to prime my face to give both these sponges a good chance. Alrighty, as per the usual, we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. My shade is 150. So on this side of my face, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender which I already know I like, but I want to compare them, so I'm going to do half my face with Beauty Blender and the other half with the uh, Real Technique sponge. I forgot to mention that both of the sponges have been dampened. They're wet and ready to go. And I will say that the Real Technique sponge actually got bigger than the Beauty Blender when wet. It started off small, the same as a Beauty Blender, but it got a little bit bigger once it was dampened. One thing I will say about the Real Technique sponge is that when I was wetting it under the sink to like dampen it, soap or something came out of it. And I don't think there was soap on my hands or anything, like I just washed my hands. But I don't think there was any soap left on my hands, so I don't know what was coming out of the sponge. Um, but that has me questioning some things. Uh, it was kind of odd. There was just like little white belt, like it almost looked like soap foam. Let me know if any of you have experienced that too. I'm also going to be using Fenty Beauty Concealer, also in the shade 150. So I'm going to conceal this side of my face with the Beauty Blender. Uh, I'm going to try and fix that pimple, but I don't think anything's going to fix that pimple. It's like a cut now. There's a cut in it. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Okay. 
There's like an actual cut there. All right, so I finished this side of my face. Um, I like Beauty Blender. You know, it's my go-to beauty sponge, so of course I like it. Nothing wrong with it. It blends well. The only thing I don't like about Beauty Blenders is that they dry out really quick, um, so she's not damp anymore. But that also might be the fact that I take a long time to put on my makeup. But yeah, I've always been a fan of Beauty Blender ever since it came out. Um, you know, it bounces really easily. It blends really nice, of course. All right, let's try the Real Techniques sponge. So my first impression of this is, I think it's spreading better than the Beauty Blender. Um, I just did like one little drop and this whole section is pretty much done. Which I'm surprised, because that's the reason I chose the Beauty Blender in the first place and why I liked it so much was because you could just use a small amount and pretty much do your whole face. But this is seems to be putting my makeup farther than even the Beauty Blender, but let's just continue and see see if we see if that continues. I I'm surprised, sorry, I'm just surprised. All right, and let's try to blend out my concealer. I will say I do like this big flat end on this beauty sponge, especially for my cheek. I find that it's blending out the concealer really well. And then you do have this small tip too that you can get right in there. Alright, so I finished completely blending my whole face, and honestly, while doing it, I couldn't tell the difference between these sponges. If I had been blindfolded or like not able to see which sponge was which, I honestly wouldn't know. I would have no idea, and to be fully honest, I think the Real Techniques sponge blended better. Uh, the dark circles under my eyes on this side are more hidden than on this side. Um, and I just moved my makeup mirror into the center here just so that you guys can get a full look because usually I have it off to the side. I honestly think the sponge blended better and there's barely any product left on the sponge. Like, that's it. Like, even when I blend it with this side, there's like no product on that flat side. Like, it didn't absorb anything. Barely. I'm really surprised because I'm a really big Beauty Blender fan but this blended so well like it, I really wouldn't know the difference I not at all and I've used other sponges before because these are so expensive and, and I've hated them I've just always gone back to Beauty Blender because you could tell the difference but I honestly really can't I'm gonna try and conceal that pimple uh, using the Real Technique sponge I don't think it's gonna work because I think it's a cut at this point but let's just see what happens I mean, it didn't fully cover this pimple, and you can take this flat end, this is what I like so much, and I just started going like this, and it's already blended, and I mean, you can still see it, but it's way better than it was a second ago, right? Like, I'm not, you guys saw that too, right? I also feel like this side of my face, looking closer into the mirror, looks less uh, wrinkly than this side of my face. I mean, I don't have a ton of wrinkles or anything, but I find that my makeup really gets stuck in like these tiny, tiny little wrinkles that I have. And it blended out on the side. Like, you can see these little wrinkles here, but I can't really see them on this side. I'm gonna do a just a close-up of my face. Uh, see what you guys think. I don't know if you guys can really tell the big difference on camera because they're just like slight differences, but like I said, like I can see the wrinklies on this side of my face and I can't see them on this side of my face. And I hate to say this, but like, I think I found a new beauty sponge. This sponge does just as well, if not better, than the beauty blender. This blended so well. I 
So buying two of these for $17 or buying one beauty blender for $26, I think I'm probably going to stick with these from now on. And that really sucks to say. Beauty blender is still a fantastic product. They were always my go-to. But when it comes to cost efficiency, I'm going to be getting the Real Techniques beauty sponge from now on. Someday if Beauty Bender maybe lowers their price or offers a two-pack or something, maybe I'll go back. So if you're looking for a cost-effective beauty sponge, I would recommend the Real Technique one. You can buy them at Walmart. I don't know if you can buy them anywhere else, but I mean Walmart, it was really cheap at Walmart. I just, I want to try it out with a powder. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I just have a translucent powder here. I just dipped the Real Technique sponge in it, and I'm just going to try it under my eye and see what happens. I usually use brushes for uh, powder, but I just want to try it just to give you guys like a full review. Just going to leave it there for a minute. Alright, I'm going to try and blend it with the sponge, but if not, I'll just go get a brush and brush it off like I normally would. But it went on real nice, like it didn't clump or anything with the sponge. Um, and it actually blended out really well too. All I can say is wow. Wow. For the price of this sponge, it's a complete, it's a complete match for the Beauty Blender. For me it is anyways, I don't know what other people think, I haven't watched any videos on it yet. Uh, I just watched a video about like the, the drama or the tea between Beauty Blender and the other sponges and stuff, but I haven't watched anybody actually like review it because I didn't want it to taint my view on it, so I don't know if other people are finding it just as good as the Beauty Blender, but I definitely am, and I think I'm going to make the switch uh, to these sponges. I find it just as good. If you've tried both of them, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Uh, the one thing I wonder about this though is when I wet it, why did it soap up? Has anybody else had that issue, or am I just dumb and I did still have soap on my hands? It seemed like it was coming from the sponge, though. If somebody has an answer for that, I'll probably Google it after this video. But if you've had that happen, or you have an answer as to why that happened, please also let me know about that in the comments below. And I guess that's it for this video. I'm making the switch from Beauty Blender to Real Technique sponge for now. Maybe if the Beauty Blender becomes more cost effective in the future, I might switch back. I've used the Beauty Blender for years and years and years now, but... You know, things change, and this is just going to be more cost effective for me. I mean, if I can save money on, to buy other beauty products, so if I can save money on a sponge and instead put my money towards a new eye palette, I'm going to do it. So I would recommend this, if you're wondering, I, I, I recommend this sponge 100%. If you guys like this video, leave a like to let me know. Maybe I'll do more makeup dupe videos in the future. And subscribe to my channel to be updated when I make new videos. I really hope you guys liked this. It's something different. I've never really done a full review or like a dupe type of makeup video, but it was really fun and I, I found a new product that I really like, so that's amazing and I'm super happy. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. <laughs>